So I just picked up this Honda Aero 50. Runs really good. It's in really good shape. Uh, one of my buddies, Mick, sold this to me. And uh, we're gonna do a little bit of cleaning up on this thing. Eventually here, you can see there's some scratches and stuff, faded paint, faded plastics, needs new tires, brakes, fuel filter. Uh, the carb was just cleaned, but eventually a new carb. And then I want to do some stuff with the cluster, make some pegs maybe in the rear. We'll see what's up. This is a nice little cool project for me to uh, get on instead of cars. So yeah, we'll have a little side project now. All right, so uh, first little project to the arrow. Uh, I went ahead and bought some 5 ace bolts, a nut, and a coupler. So we're gonna go ahead and make some pegs here. Just gonna weld these pieces straight to the frame and weld the bolts straight to those pieces. And we should have a nice little adjustable peg back here. All right, so I have one painted black now, fully black. It's looking nice. And then the other side is still silver. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray that side and then we're gonna call this done. I went ahead and painted the exhaust and the peg with this heat paint here. Also did the floor and a little bit of scratches on the other side. This side has quite a bit of scratches, so I wanted to record this. I wanna get just a light coat of paint on there before I actually fully sand this thing down and paint nicely, but uh, yeah, we'll see what this looks like. So I'm doing another mod to the Aero. I found this uh, little trunk on Marketplace. Not really sure what exactly it's from, but uh, it's pretty cool. And I made it work with some bolts. And um, it has a nice little seat back here to rest your back on. So my girl can kind of just sit on the back and chill. I'm going to clean it up a little bit and uh, tighten this down and we'll try it out. Kind of looks like the back of a Mercedes. Like, it's pretty funny. It's got a wing too. You could hook up the lights and stuff. Yeah, we'll see what's up with the lights later on, but... The functionality of just the trunk itself and the seat is pretty cool. So, yeah, we'll see how cool this comes out. I don't know about the style-wise, but to ride with two people, that's pretty cool. All right, so it is bolted on by two bolts. It is very solid, and they're not even fully tight yet. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, we have a trunk, man another trunk because <laughs> i have a little one here and then we have the glove box here and now we got an extra one honestly it probably feels pretty cool to like lean back all the way oh yeah man that's sweet all right another day we're going ahead and taking the arrow apart here i'm taking the cluster out so i can figure out what kind of leds are in here and then i'm gonna take this whole assembly out here because i have a crack right there so i'm gonna go ahead and jb weld that and then uh, maybe spray the inside of this black that'll look a little nicer to me and then um yeah we'll just kind of spiffy up this plastic while it's off clean it scrub it and do all that jazz and then uh yeah you can see it's kind of faded down here a little bit it's nicer up towards the top for some reason but yeah down here is a little faded i would like to fix that all right so i have both of the side panels out and I'm taking out the front here with the glove box. Probably need a little bit of two hands. So I have the arrow all taken apart here. I was just riding it for fun. But I went ahead and cleaned off like the frame a little bit because it was pretty dirty. And then uh, I'm planning on taking the rest of this exhaust off so I could just fully paint it because I only painted the front a half. And then the wheels I want to scuff up and make nice again. And then all this other stuff that's a little oily and dirty. But nothing too terrible. Just got some dust, you know. That's about it. So I'm just cruising a little bit and cleaning it up. I'll show you guys what it looks like after this. But here's all the uh, dirt and grime and stuff. The rust. Uh, there's not too much rust on this thing at all, but... Just gonna clean it up while I have the chance. So 
I took it on a little ride with some homies last night. Super cool. Um, now I'm back to some mods. So let's uh, let's get some LED strips on this thing. I think that's what it's really missing. So uh, let's hop right into that. I'm actually uh, taking these little side marker pieces off, making a clear piece here. May or may not paint it. Might uh, actually throw some LEDs behind this and make this just glow, which would be cool. But we'll see what happens. Throw maybe a logo on it or something. We'll see. Got to make one more side for that side. And then I'm going to try to figure out what to do with this hole here. Uh, there was a reflector here. Didn't want it. So I'm going to figure something cool out for these. And now we got both pieces. Uh, this just has protective film on it. So this uh, marker will come off. Now... We need to drill the holes in this one. That way we can have this nice little piece here tucked inside and it kind of covers the hole. So that'll be cool. I'm just gonna drill these real quick and then uh, try to bolt them in. Yeah, those will work for sure. So. I'm gonna bolt it in that way from the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the front panel here. All right, so here it is with these little panels in. Now I can go ahead and drill a hole here and maybe put some switches on one of the sides and a cigarette lighter on the other. So both of them fit super flush and uh, they look these. Now it's time to uh, get to work. So after a long time with the Dremel, um, finally got this in. It is super snug, so I'm just going to leave it there like that. Whole cigarette lighter. Perfect in there. Doesn't even want to shake. Doesn't even want to pull out the cylinder from the actual cigarette lighter. So that'll be pretty cool. Looks pretty sick, looks stock. So now I went ahead and got the switch right there next to it. We're gonna have this be either a glove box light or underglow or something like that. Then we got our little cigarette lighter here. It'll work perfect. Clears in the back for all the wires. So minty. And now I guess I just have to figure out how to hook this up. Just finally started wiring up everything. We have the ground as black on the housing and the white is power in the middle of the cigarette lighter plug. And then I have a little jumper harness here with a plug. So that way it's easy to remove this entire piece without removing all of this. So that'll be sick. And then what we're doing now is taking the white and black wire, running it to my Milwaukee battery. So that way I don't blow anything on this thing and then uh, we're just gonna test and see if it works. So you just push it in and it should pop out when it's hot enough. A few seconds. And there we go. We have a red hot cigarette lighter, so we're gonna go ahead and wire this in straight to the battery. And then we should be good to go and uh, use this for whatever reason I put it on here. I don't know, but uh, it's cool. And maybe I can actually use this as a uh, charger port. That was the main reason for it really, but this is just to test it out. Hopefully I can use a charger port in there. That would be sick. And. Uh, then I can charge my phone. So now that I went ahead and tested the plug, I'm gonna go ahead and insert my car charger. And look at that. We have two outlets to charge. And it looks pretty sick lighting up. I like it. Pretty dope. So it'll just be sticking off the side with the USB plugged in running up towards here and then hopefully i can put a phone mount on here somewhere and then that'll be even better so 
that's pretty much it for the cigarette lighter portion. Just got to hook this up to the battery. And then I have this switch here, which I may or may not do now. Not too sure, but uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. All right, so I'm going ahead and hooking it up to the battery. We got this blue little crimp on here, this wire. I'm going ahead and running it from the spool. I'm gonna go ahead and run it down to the frame and then up through this red plastic here. And then we are going to transfer the power right to this little fuse block here and then solder to here. And then we shall have all of our fuses on here and we can switch all the uh, fuses out for uh, higher ones. But I think twos might work actually. So those will probably stay in. And then we can uh, add other things later onto this little fuse box. Now I have the power wire ran under the floor onto the frame and up all the way to here. Now, since there's a block here, I figure you can probably go ahead and mount this somewhere around here. So I'm gonna figure that out and then hook that up. Now I have everything figured out. We can just go ahead and plug this in and voila, we have some underglow. But what I really wanted to do is not have this plugged into the cigarette lighter. So I'm gonna go ahead and snip this now and wire it up to our fuse block in there and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right. So with the LEDs, the way I set them up, I have them through the cigarette lighter port. Now, what I'm gonna do is take the two wires that are in here, positive and negative, put them to the switch, and then we're gonna run a power wire from here to the switch, and I'll be able to use the LEDs off of here. And this is also another 20 amp inside here so that way we have double the protection just in case if uh something happens which it won't because it's just LEDs but yeah we're just gonna go ahead and wire this up and I'll kind of show you what it looks like afterwards we got a little bit of more clutter in there but you know that's how it goes when you modify things so you kind of got to fit it up all right guys I just went to the store real quick. Ain't gonna lie, just messed up. I ripped out the old LEDs because uh, I blew them. So yeah, don't blow your LEDs. I went ahead and picked up some new ones. They were on sale for six bucks, which is sick. And uh, they're not one whole LED. They're actually four strips. So that'll be kind of even nicer to run them exactly where I want. And I ended up getting two of them just in case. So I'm gonna go ahead and wire this in now. And... Hopefully not blow these. All right, so we got my scoot in the dark here. I have the LEDs underneath and I wired them to this little switch here. My battery voltage is starting to get a little low because the battery's old. Uh, so I do need to get another one of those, but looks really cool with the underglow. I can change the colors and stuff on my phone. I had it red before, but uh, yeah, sometimes when I cruise, I'll just throw it white just in case. But yeah, we'll uh, pretty much call it for this video. There's not much more to do to my scoot, but <laughs> I ended up getting two more. So I have more videos coming on the way. Thank you guys for watching. There's still going to be some more car content. Just got a little sidetracked with these. Um, if you like them, there's going to be a lot more content with these as well and uh, upgrading and wiring and stuff like that. So if you're trying to get into uh, something like this, then hit that subscribe button and uh, leave a like for me, guys. Thank you. Peace out.